Oh, wait, no, I'm thinking of somebody else. But I know Moppin is really good. Moppin's always got great results. And you can tell because, of course, they are this far into this bracket. And oh, laughing a little tiny bit. Wow. <laughs> Kazuya Gobbin. Is Kazuya good? Yes. Can you play Kazuya if you don't know how to play Kazuya? No. That has to be, like, one of the hardest characters you can possibly get on random select. It's so funny to be like, wow, Kazuya looks so easy. He does XYZ if you play him. But if you don't yeah. play him, it's like, this is a nightmare. I don't know what's going on. If Who's, you know, you know. Which electric wind god fist? Who is Wait, that? What? I don't okay. What church is that? You know what? We got a little something going. Tries to go for the dash grab. Doesn't get it. Dashing and shielding. Fantastic jumping. Uh, punishing oh. the thunder. All right. We actually saw some uh, shenanigans go off of grabbing somebody at the ledge, kind of breaking apart there because the book came through. Uh, yeah, Moppin is going to have to do a lot of deep digging to figure out how to win this character. Getting a regular back throw. I actually haven't yeah. seen that animation in a while. So used to command grab one. It's actually kind of a funny animation. Okay, tries to go for the neutral B, doesn't actually fully connect it, forces the Logan Covey. Jab in the skies. What was uh, what was Moppin hitting Ooh. him? I do not know. All right, JoJo to Hobo taking that first stock pretty confidently with the double arc fire into the uh, 11 toward back air. Moppin does not know what to do, but he goes for the jab. One, two, three, gets the gentleman and even things up. Okay. I don't know Kazuya combos, but I know this. Down throw into up tilt is unfortunately, uh, that wasn't really the strong hit, but okay, gets a forward not able to fully extend, sets up attack chase unknowingly. Up in two up -ins. oh my god. Yeah, and um, I don't know how exactly how I feel about Kazu's disadvantage. Oh my oh! god, it doesn't matter! <laughs> the strongest forward smash in the game, fully charged, is gonna duff Jojo to Hobo right in the noggin. None of those neutral wins mean anything. We both like laughing. They had to like laugh that one off. They did. JoJo gave a really big laugh. That was that was, and that's what you love to see. I, I know this is more of a low stakes bracket, but it's it's good to know that the players they're taking it seriously, but they're still finding the fun at it all. And that's really what you want out of a tournament than uh, running randoms. Oh, Whoa. excellent. Okay. Wow, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Okay, just able to get a dash grab back to go for a bit of stage. It can't kill, but you do have to be a lot closer to the ledge. Yeah, hanging on a little bit too long. That arc fire is going to start to two frame you if you don't make a decision quickly. Yeah. All right, no more spells, it looks like, for Jojo to Hobo for a moment. But the falling up air going to come through and uh, kill Moppin out of disadvantage. Great work. And that was a lot of jams. Moppin was dancing. Mm -hmm. Just like, ooh, showing off some moves, showing off some kicks. And Jojo was like, what are you doing? Yeah, celebrate, celebrating that, uh, that F smash from earlier, probably. All right, falling forward. Just waits a little bit. Tries to space out that back. Nice. Excellent command grab. Mm -hmm. All right, I like the really careful spacing battle we're seeing from yep. JoJo and Moppin. Uh, like, you can tell that JoJo, like, is still playing with the fear of interacting with Kazuya, even if the uh, Kazuya player isn't familiar with the character. You can definitely still see that fear uh, in his eyes. But, yeah, he's kind of staying just out of range from, like, um, you know, his tilts and maybe even, like, down tilt as well, uh, trying to just make sure he's outspacing Moppin everywhere he can. And speaking Ooh. about spacing, that's what I'm talking about, hanging back at roll distance, seeing how Mop is going to get off the stage. He goes for a side B, and uh, JoJo's able to call it out and get like, a pretty hard punish with those 11 sword aerials. They're like, both like, laughing that one off, and yeah. honestly, you can't even blame them. This that was, uh, that was something. <laughs> this ain't like a fully charged like, F smash to the face, too. <laughs> right. right to the dome, God, my I lord. Wish me. Um, God, yeah. I wish that were me. <laughs> Game two. Uh, me see. and who? <laughs> can fully have smashed the Oh, face. Sephora Fox, Sephora Fox. Okay, I feel like Fox does actually like quite well into this. Mm -hmm. He like does like a really good job of a closing in space, man. That was like the fastest save of my life. My Clo Lord. Like closing in space on Sephora, uh, jumps in super well, calls out like a lot of like some of his like laggy buttons, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, this is definitely one of those matchups where like if your spacing is not very clean and precise, Fox can just kind of run all over you. Like Sephiroth, as long as he doesn't press a button, can outspace you, but as soon as he whiffs something, you're going to eat like 78%. Yeah. Okay, gets that neutrally, but doesn't actually get the up smash because uh, Moppen ended up landing on the platform. Moppen not able to get much targeted, but that F smash so unsafe on shield. All right, going for the high side B that worked out there, but that's Woo! definitely a big amount of knowledge for Moppen to take home because if he does that again, he can get big punishes. But doesn't matter, eats that F, uh, up smash and loses the first stock, and JoJo's still looking pretty healthy on this one. Just dashing, now lasering a little tiny bit. Gets one little bit of an accidental footstool, not intentional, but that's okay. Beautiful spot dodge, but doesn't actually get the up tilt. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, I thought we were going to see a pretty big stream there. But uh, forcing his way back on stage with those side Bs, uh, that's definitely something that Moppin can start taking advantage of uh, if he gets privy to it. But right now, he's struggling to find some way to get the kill. Almost gets it with that up air, but JoJo was more than ready with that air yeah. dodge. 
All right. Crash the land, keeps on jumping in. Foxes only want one thing, and that's falling neutral, and it is disgusting. It is disgusting. What? Yo, you are eliminated. You Going for it. You that are that Fully charged F smash on Scintilla is just like, okay, GG's, go yeah, back home. That counter is just unbelievably strong, and he really put some umph on that F smash, so that's going to do it coast to coast. Not going to matter. Okay, Chester, maybe go for like a back hit. I love the way that JoJo's just like mixing up a lot with these double jumps, right? Not like uh, going for like immediate falling buttons. Now just like alternating with tomahawks, throwing out as many of these double jumps, but like one up here from Mop N, and that could like, you know, mean landing as Fox with no double jump. Yeah, and, that, and that's tough, especially when you have a character like Seth with uh, so many crazy hitboxes and like, you know, up air and up tilt. Or I even if you just want to space it on the ground with up tilt, you can, you can get a lot. I want to see a reflection on the scintilla. Oh, God. I, I want to know how that works, actually. Yeah. I'm really curious. Do it for the culture. Let me see. All right. Just waiting a little tiny bit. Oh, Down somebody smash. grabbed the ledge oh. again, but huh. Huh. Didn't go for the punish. I wasn't sure if he maybe got a little gun shy, or it's possible he could have been uh, kind of stuck in the shield stun from I'm uh, that I'm a little shy. Umby. He's a little shy guy. Yeah, but a little scared. Okay, but you know what? Town City able to get the back here, killing off that side. Gets a little multi-jab, sets up a tech chase. Oh, that was just the very tip of the up tilt. Mm, yeah. All right, gonna, oh, I thought he was going to land that forward air and kind of force him back off stage. All right, what is the punish? We've seen a lot of early side Bs. Great, JoJo mixing it up and just going for air dodge instead. Yeah. Uh, Moppin was finally ready to punish it, and he switched it up right on time. Okay, right, one up two, up two up airs. Oh, the confidence just walked straight towards him while he's got that back air out on his face. He's looking for it. When Fox jumps at this point, it's so scary, and Sephiroth might die just because of how light he is. Yeah, yeah. Neutral air right now is just a death sentence. Um... Or even just a raw back air, depending on the spacing, just because Town of City has those close high blast zones. But sweet spot, one wing F tilt is going to clean that stock up for Moppin. But boy, does he have a lot of work to do and a lot of moves to avoid. Yeah, not enough space to get the neutral into the up smash that time around. Just basic ledge traps, putting on all of the ship damage. But now you need like a raw hit Ooh. to actually kill. All right, we're seeing up throw to uh, neutral air. Okay, oh. we're seeing some uh, some momentum come from Moppin. JoJo doesn't have a jump. Burns his air dodge. Stuck with the curse. What's going to happen? Anything can happen at this point. Okay, going to be stuck at the ledge. Doesn't actually eat the downer. He gets all the hits of the downer that time around. One little neutral sends Moppin back off stage. And we have an even game now. One decision away. You see uh, Moppin very carefully just spacing with those forward tilts and those back airs. As long as he's at max range, he'll be safe. But he what? has to be careful not to get whiff punished by one of the best whiff punishers in the game. Uh, the two rolls back onto the center of the stage. JoJo Ooh. was nervous. And then eating a back here. Mop and making a bit of a comeback. Wow. Yeah, that was a hard fought stock right there. I wasn't kidding. Was down 90%. Took the lead all the way back with just some pretty good combos we saw right there. Some good conditioning. Was punishing those air dodges really well and nearly even got the kill with that dare at the ledge just a little bit off the mark. But Mop was fought back and now we have ourselves a game three. Dude, as soon as you see, like, one American air dodge, you can never unsee it. From, like, that point on where you're like, huh, why are you directional air dodging all the way above them? What do you gain from this? And now, Ken Ridley. Ken and Ridley. Wow. Moppin has gotten two of the, like, four FGC characters. That is uh, really rough. I don't know if anyone would specifically have a Ken and not a Kazuya. I don't know. But let's see what happens. I mean, again, here. it's like the least popular characters in random, right? That's why we're seeing weirdly. Like, that's why we like, you know, we're seeing so many like FGC characters because of how little people play them. Yeah. All right, we got hard up tilt in the side B. It looks like yeah. uh, Mobbin might be a little bit more comfortable with Kim than he was with Kazuya. Okay, dashing in, tries to get that PCF tilt, does not get it. You do need to go for the low angled one if you do want a two frame. That middle one is only going to catch somebody going up and above the ledge. Man, remember how scared we were of uh, really down B the first time we saw it? And now it's like, oh, I got hit by Ridley down B, 50%. That doesn't matter. Steve does more with an up tilt. <laughs> exactly. Ridley down B got power scaled. Ooh. Ugh. Ugh. That's like a bad thought, yeah? That really is, actually, yeah. What the, What happened? Look at the meta. Look who we thought we were. Oh, wow. Great match from Oppen. I normally <laughs> see, I don't see a lot of people match out of that move yeah. that fast. Okay, we look at spacing on the neutral B, actually, to be able to cover the ledge. A little side B. So brutal, just like dragging your face across the concrete, mm. like action movie style. Yeah, the boy season three, episode seven. But also, uh, we did oh. just see. You know what oh. I'm talking about, Dar? I know you just started watching that show. I, I pitched the whole show in three days. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. Uh, but yeah, great edge guard from JoJo to go for that uh, 
very delayed drop zone neutral air, just making it really tough for Moppin to come back. But now, at 145%, just getting punched yeah. in the face again. One thing about Moppin, that boy will punch you in the face. That's what we're learning tonight. Whitley is just like a trade. That, oh, that analogy only works with the concrete thing. That was the only one. But, okay, <laughs> able to get two consecutive forwarders. Big, big damage. 102. Somebody's looking for a jump call out. Somebody does not get a jump call out. And that's going to be another side B. Back off stage. Hello, darkness, my old friend. But a quick little up B. Back over the ledge. Going to be keeping uh, Moppin alive. Yeah, and you can tell JoJo's like, all right, I have a lead. I have to kind of get something committal to get this stock off. There oh, it is. excuse me. A perfectly spaced. Just like you said, down angled F tilt is going to come through yep, yep. and clean that up. And did you see from where that hit too? Yeah. That was like, ugh. That was like through the stage. Oh my goodness. But missing that dash grab. Okay. Coming back in. Tries to go through the spike. Using focus to be able to get back onto the stage. Tries to fade back with it. But alas, Ridley side B got a little bit too much pep in his stuff. Yeah. JoJo has gotten a ton of mileage out of this side B. I have not seen Mop and Punish it just yet. And great spacing with those yep. aerials. Hitting the focus attack but being so far away with those disjoints, none of it's going to matter. His F tilt is just so brutal. He stabs you. Mm -hmm. oh, he's yelling in his face now. Oh, and the edge guard is going to come through. Yeah. JoJo's going to take it 2-1. But really, really smart.